everyone uh, welcome back to our channel uh, in today's tutorial we are going to learn about numpy uh, which is uh, used for uh, arithmetic operations so numpy is a very important module in python which is uh, used for faster mathematical operations okay so we are going to use it for uh, you know array declaration one dimensional and two dimensional okay so it will be a full demonstration with examples so uh, if you if you watch this tutorial you can totally learn everything about numpy okay so at this at any point if you need any help with numpy you can directly go to your uh, help section in in interpreter okay so before you see the help you need to import it so i'm just importing the numpy better import it with a smaller uh, name like uh, import numpy as np okay so now if i do help np you can see everything about it so it has a full uh, documentation so you can you can see it is used for you know declaring uh, array of uh, homogeneous items okay and it is used for faster mathematical operations arithmetic operations okay so uh, numpy is very useful when you need to uh, you know work with arrays okay so let's start and uh, uh, you know learn uh, so many things about it so i have i have summarized so many things like you know you, what you can do with it you can declare one dimensional and two dimensional arrays you can you know calculate uh, the mean average median of the uh, values inside the array okay you can uh, use it for sort purpose okay there are so many things we can uh, use it for okay so yeah i mean uh, let's start the process and i i hope you will learn you know numpy very easily with this tutorial okay so i'm going to use this web interface for computing uh, uh, numpy okay so first of all we are going to import it as np okay so first of all we are going to see how to declare a zero array okay so let's say if the question if the interviewer asks you like how to declare an array with uh, uh, full of zeros okay so you can declare one dimensional or two dimensional array with full of uh, full of zeros using uh, only two lines of code that uh, uh, is provided by numpy so all you have to do is it has a function called zeros so you have to just pass the number of uh, arguments so let's say if i say uh, five so and uh, if you run this so see the the array is created with all the zeros with the one dimensional if you pass uh, 5 comma 5 okay uh, and if you run this so now see it is uh, uh, taken as uh, cannot interpret so it is a single value so you have to give it in a as a as a, as a single value okay so if you if you run this now see uh, it is an array is created in in seconds with five rows and five columns full of zeros okay similarly if you want to create uh, like let's say two rows three columns like that and if you run it so so this is the way you can create uh, a two dimensional uh, array full of zeros okay it's very easy with this numpy function okay that is one thing similarly you know it also supports for once you know if you can see the help sections i can i, I think it should work so you see it is also helping you to create uh, uh array with uh, full of ones okay so this is one of the example let's see something else what we can do with uh, with numpy okay so numpy uh, supports the array declaration which uh, where you can put anything like you know you can put uh, uh what do you call numeric value you can put uh, string you can put uh, a, a float value you can put you know a defined predefined literals okay so you can put anything you want at the, at the at any point okay so so it is very helpful to declare an array okay so if i run this now so you can see it is declaring the array okay so yeah i mean this is a single array and at the same time you can also declare Two dimensional array like okay so all you have to do is you have to give the values in two 
so so two dimensional array is nothing but a list of lists okay so you can uh, you know uh, put these values as like like this so if you do this so it is declaring the array okay so now you can see uh, it should be uh, it is uh, taking it so you have if you are putting like two lists you have to give it inside the list again so that it will be a two dimensional array okay now see it became a two dimensional array so likewise okay so this is the this is how you can declare an array okay now uh, to access the element okay so it's very simple so <clears throat> for example you want to print so let's add one more uh, cell so if you want to let's say print print okay so let's uh, assign it to a value okay and run it okay now let's say i want to print a so if i just if i completely print a it is going to print the whole two dimensional array and now at this point if i want to let's say i want to print uh, uh two comma let's say uh two comma one okay so if i say two it won't be it will become out of index so if i say one comma one so what is it what it is printing see it is printing four okay let's print uh, uh, the whole array also so that it will be easy to understand so I'm also also printing the whole uh, two-dimensional array and then I'm printing one comma one so one is like uh, zero one so it will go to the second row and uh, second column so it is going here so let's say if you want to say uh, let's let's increase the value let's say 2 comma 1 now see what is happening so now it is uh, <clears throat> so it is going uh, first along the uh, y-axis okay so axis 0 is size uh, is out of bond okay so you have to give like this 1 comma 2 so this way it will actually go to 0 1 2 uh, sorry uh, it will go to 0 1 which is the second row and then 0 1 2 5 so it is printing 5 okay so this is how you can access the element of the array okay so this is all about the one dimensional and two dimensional array declaration okay so now let's let's try to understand uh, some sorting sorting mechanism so sorting is very easy so let's just declare a, a, an array of uh, of some values like uh, let's say uh, you know uh, like 23 comma 3 comma 4 comma 56 comma 34 something like that you know random values and if i want to uh, let's say print print uh, uh, so sorting is very simple using numpy so all you have to do is uh, np dot sort and then you have to pass the array okay and then you can assign it to a new array, like sorted array okay so you just have to print here sorted array okay so this is how you can uh, let's say if I run this I'm sorry it is not defined because I have to run this one first now if I if I take the now see uh, now B has this value and the sorted it has been sorted very fast so all you have to do is just np dot sort function okay at any point I told you right you can you take help of this uh, help section so all you have to do is uh, np dot sort so you, you get a complete uh, of, uh, help about this sort function return a sorted copy of an array okay now sort works two ways it works along the x-axis and it can also work along the y-axis so for example I have this two dimensional array so I want to sort this a so I have printed a now let's say I want to I want to sort a along with uh, uh, another different axis you know like let's 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 add uh, one more uh, what do you call uh, one more uh, value into it so now if I if I now uh, let's say let's just remove this okay 
okay so now we are printing a and let's just remove this we don't want this now we want to uh, learn how, how sorting works in a different axis okay so now we have this a and now we are printing a now this is my two-dimensional array now let's say I want to uh, you know sort uh, so what, what I'm gonna do is uh, np dot sort and I'm passing a and here I'm passing axis equal to one so what is going to happen let, let let's just check it out okay so now I'm, I'm passing it to b and at the same time i'm, I'm creating one more uh, sort where i'm going to pass the axis as zero so by default it should be zero so let me check and now let's just print b and c okay and see what is happening I'm sure my recording is working okay yeah so okay so now if I run this see what is happening okay I'm getting some error C is not defined so C is equal to C is here right so yeah I mean I I, may, I might not have run this okay yeah now run this okay now see what is happening uh, this is my uh, main array this is my main uh, uh, this is my source or the input array and now it has been uh, sorted along with uh, okay so now you can see uh, the first one axis equal to 1 the 2 uh, two, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four. so 1 2 3 4 Two four five six two three four six. See the last row. Two four three six has been sorted as two three four six. Okay, so first two rows already are sorted. Okay, now check the third one. So here the axis is zero. So here it has been sorted vertically. So one two two, uh, two four four, three five three. So see here three five three has been sorted as three three five. And 466, six, I mean, it, it looks the same. So, in the first one, I have sorted along the uh, horizontal direction, and in the second one, I have sorted along the vertical direction. So, this is how you can sort uh, using the axis. Okay. Yeah. So, let's let's uh, see something else. I mean, uh, let's let's uh, jump to more 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 values. Like, for example, let's say let's add one more cell okay so let's go down here import numpy as np so np dot let's say i want to create mean okay so mean you can very easily create in uh, using numpy so all you need to do is just pass the values and let's say this is my values and you you want to uh, let's you want to determine the mean okay so if you run this and now if i just need to print this mean so see the mean of these uh, four values has been printed similarly you can and in the same section i will just show you like uh, you know average i'm sure that is the command right okay so you can see this is the average so this is the average of these this one okay like uh, similarly you can also do standard deviation or you can do median all those things you can do like this okay so if you just run this and just print the output so this is the standard deviation okay likewise you can do median so so many things you can do with the uh, numpy okay uh, there was there is one more thing that you should know and which is uh, uh, which is uh, uh, argument sort so there is a th something called arg sort so uh, what i'm going to do is just let me cut this and so i'm just removing okay now let's say uh let's try to understand what is arg sort okay so import numpy as np okay so np let's say i have an array okay np dot array and i have 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 3 comma uh, 6 
comma 23 comma 12 okay let's say and i have i have let's i have assigned it to a value okay now np dot org sort what it will do just try to understand i'm passing this uh, array here and i'm assigning it to b okay and then now let's run it let's add one more cell print a print a print b okay so what is happening see a is my array and b is what is now what, what is now b has so b has the indices of the sorted array okay so now if you see this array is not sorted i mean yeah i mean it is yeah so two four this is an actual array and now zero three now it goes to three so after zero if you go zero one two three so in the next uh, number in the order is three then it goes to one so zero one so four the next item is four then two zero one two next is five likewise so zero one two of two zero one two so five so likewise so it the, the, the what you get is the uh, the indices of this sorted array okay so now what you can do you can use this uh, index indices to uh, uh, to to create uh, to print the sorted array so how you can do that you, can, you have all you have to do is just pass the indices to a different array let's say uh, okay so now, now I already have the array name a and you all you have to do is just pass the indices to this okay so just run this now see the sorted array is printed okay because we, I have passed the B which is an indices of sorted array to the A so it is printing A of B so it is printing you the sorted array so this is the way you can print the sorted array using the arg sort okay so this is how uh, you this is a, these are the things I, I have summarized some of the things that I can do with the uh, numpy okay so let's not uh, elongate the tutorial more okay I mean I can you know a lot of other things that you can do with numpy it is very fast and very frequently used okay so uh, these are the things I have, I have covered so I have covered you know how to declare one dimensional and two dimensional array then uh, we showed like uh, how to declare zeros once and then we saw sort and arc sort and then we saw some of the uh, mean median average and standard deviation okay so i hope this uh, tutorial will help you to understand numpy and if you have any questions please ask in the comment sections thank you for watching and yeah please subscribe to this channel for more such tutorials thank you